Hey guys, happy Sunday. Um, I want to take some time today to go over some exercises that I do with the tow bar accessory from the Total Gym. Uh, I feel it's probably the most neglected accessory that Total Gym has. Uh, and uh, I fell victim to it pretty much my, my whole time with the Total Gym. So I've come up with a whole bunch of different exercises that you can do with this. I don't really have proper names for them, so you can just follow along. Um, try each one of them separately before you hop on and do this little routine with me and uh, get comfortable with everything because they are new. You're working totally new muscle groups uh, and it's a little, it's obviously a lot different than working with the cables. So um, I hope you enjoy it and uh, get something out of it, add it to your routines, whatever it may be. But uh, I don't really know how long it's going to take. I've only done it and never really realized the time frame in which it took. So um, just enjoy. And again, this is just using the tow bar accessory, nothing else. Okay. So we're going to start off with legs. Scoot your bum to the bottom of the board. And now I just have it down low because I want to be able to do all the exercises, um, uh, you know, without anything being changed so I can do it nice and fluent for you guys, but you guys can adjust accordingly to each exercise, obviously legs, you're probably going to want it up a little bit more. And then when we work into the arms, you're going to probably want to bump it down a bit. I have it on number five right now for the fit and it's going to give me a great workout all the way around. So legs, we're just going to do a nice deep squat. Okay, guys, keep your feet nice and flat. Now this is a typical one that uh, everyone knows how to do with uh, the tow bar, right? I mean, it's kind of designed for the Pilates aspect of it, um, stretching and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm just going to stick with exercises on the tow bar accessory. Now this is just kind of getting it warmed up, you know, and again, this is just stuff that you incorporate into your exercise. Um, as far as when I do this routine, I just kind of go until failure, to be honest, uh, mainly because I can't pump out too many reps of the other exercises yet. But, uh, you know, you guys, you're going to build with me and, uh, and I appreciate you guys just taking the time to view these videos. And, uh, you know, I hope that uh, everything that comes out of these things adds to your workouts makes you a stronger person and anything I can do to help you guys out feel free to message me at any time okay we're gonna do 10 more of these one two three four five six seven eight nine and 10. Now from here, you're going to go over on the side of your glide board. You're going to put one leg up where the, the bend is or on the tow bar. One leg up and we're just going to do calf raises. Main thing here is trying to stabilize your leg so there's not too much movement. I like to hold the back of my leg. Basically come down. I'm not that flexible here. Some people are going to be able to come down a lot more and then you just want to basically peak it up as high as you can and flex your calf. I like to do this nice and slow and concentrated. I like to do all my movements like that. You'll notice. Find you just get more out of it. But I love doing the high reps. And my muscle has been building a lot more with high reps than lower reps. Um, I mean, if you want that big bulky size, you can stick with your lower reps and higher weight. But uh, this seems to work really well for me and I'm maintaining a lot of size. 10 more guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now come down, turn over. The other leg. One, two. Now it's okay if you have a little bit of movement because it's very hard to control completely, but uh, that's all part of the total gym. Every exercise, even if you make ones up, they uh, 
they all incorporate balance, activating other muscle groups. And I think that's what I love about the Total Gym the most. It's a nice exercise. I only have it on level five, right? And my legs are already kind of burning. It's a nice full extension, almost as if you're doing them on the stairs or something. And 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're going to continue on with calves. I like the toe bar accessory for calves because it incorporates a lot of stability exercises within your legs. And my legs, believe it or not, uh, when I first started this journey, were definitely um, probably the weakest thing in my body. Uh, my knees were starting to go and I just was never using my legs athletic wise and doing any kind of sports or moving in general. So, uh, you know, people I've been there and uh, these exercises, I've been doing this one since day one. It's really, really helped my legs. Nice high peak in here and you can really, really flex your legs really nicely. Again, you know, I typically do this on a higher weight, but uh, for this purpose, I'm staying down low. Now you can go one leg. And 10 more. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now see, my right, my right side of my body obviously is a lot weaker than my left. I'm left-handed take off with my left foot and you name it. So it's a little harder. I noticed you notice it's a little bit more wobbly. So you have to really concentrate flexing other muscles to try to keep that stabilized because you don't want to let it kind of do its own thing. You can end up injuring yourself. I lost track there. Let's do 10. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine and ten okay so put your feet follow the contour of the toe bar accessory and we're just going to go out nice and wide legs spread apart working our inner thigh area I like to go down nice and deep, as deep as you can go. I'm not that flexible. I'm getting there, I'm practicing, but it's not quite there yet. See, when I have it down low and it's easy like this for me, I really like to concentrate on flexing my muscles, the ones that I'm using them. Like, you always want to do that, but sometimes when it's higher weight, you have difficulties understanding what muscle to actually flex. So, when it's easy, a lot of people say, oh, I'm not going to do it because it's easy. But this is a great time to kind of understand your body, your muscles and how they work where they're flexing, where they're not. And you can watch, because you're not concentrating on, you know, pumping up like crazy. Just kind of get to know your body. 
That's important. Let's do ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, guys. So that's all we're gonna do for legs. Next one here, I introduced this a couple weeks ago. Um, still don't have a name for it. I'm trying to think of some creative stuff, you know? But uh, this has been amazing for me. Essentially, put your legs on the board. I always like to make my knees touch the actual tow bar accessory because then I know that that's as far as I can possibly go before it touches the stop. We're gonna start off, let's start off down low. So you're gonna put your hands underneath the tow bar bend. You're going to lean forward, keep your back straight, and you're just pushing up with your arms. Okay? Just like this. But this down here, you're going to notice as we move up the tow bar accessory that it works different parts of your upper body. So right now, you should be feeling it in your triceps, in your chest. Those should be the two major muscle groups that are working right now. A little bit of your shoulders. And again, nice and slow and concentrated. And again, flex your triceps when you get there, you know? Flex your chest all the way through. The nice part about this is if you put a little bit of pressure on the toe bar accessory inwards, you really get a chance to flex your muscles in your chest, which a lot of people have problems and a hard time doing. And if you can push in, it adds, you know, you're gonna feel it in your chest all the way through this exercise. That we use these to this tow bar. Let's do five more here. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so keep it up. We're gonna put our hands up right here on the side of the bend. Okay, same kind of deal. Back straight. One, two. Three, four, five. You're gonna notice here that it's working your kind of upper chest area, okay? So more or less down up here, whereas the bottom one works your, your, the lower part of your chest, which is really important to work your complete muscle group from top to bottom. And again, push in, activate that chest muscle. Your triceps are gonna work naturally. And again, guys, I usually go right until I'm struggling like crazy at the end because uh, I always find that gives me the best results. You know, usually try to pump out anywhere from 15 to 30 reps. And let's do five more of this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, keep your hands up. Now, do a diamond shape with your hands and then grip the bar so you should have a little gap in the middle. When you're ready, you're going to come down and push up. You are going to light your triceps up like crazy here. Okay? Try to stabilize your wrists. Don't take over with your wrists. You want to use your triceps in here and your triceps in your upper shoulder area right in here. Is just going to start lighting up because you're using muscles that you normally never use. Is when are you going to do this movement? It's a pushing movement up really close, but this one activates your chest and your shoulders and your triceps and a little bit of your back on the way down here. It's so cool and it works so nice. Five more. One, two, three four, five. Okay. So now from here, just because we're in this position, we might as well just kind of go with the flow so you can keep it nonstop. We're going to put our hands here, wherever you're comfortable. Okay. We're going to stand up like this, push back with our board. 
into a push-up position. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So you can also do those with your knees on the board to start. One, two, so on and so forth, okay? Every exercise of the total gym, you can alter to make it work for you. That's the best part about it. We're gonna get off now. Put our feet on the board. Just brace your arms here. And do some tricep dips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So the last two exercises are pretty hard. You might wanna practice them a little bit. You know, you can use your knees and just kinda dip like that. Okay, just to get used to it. Build that muscle group up before you attempt the harder one. Next one. If you have a really big head, <laughs> probably not going to work out for you. But uh, I got a pretty big head here and I got plenty of distance here. And we're going to actually put our head through the bar. We're going to hold up right about where our cheeks are. And you're going to push. Two. Three, four, fantastic exercise for your shoulders, your triceps, your back. It's unbelievable because the accessories that come with the Total Gym, they don't come up like this. So it's working muscles that we're not used to. It's almost like doing an overhead shoulder press. Five more. Okay. Now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to lie down on our backs. And I usually like to slide in until my shoulders hit the bar. And that way, if you ever slipped, or whatever, the board's gonna hit before your shoulders are gonna hit the toe bar. Safety first, right? <laughs> so, I always like to hold up here and then push up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now you go down, and this one's very tricky, but it is probably the best one I've ever done. So it's for your triceps, and really your triceps only. You're going to let your arms go up or down, sorry, and then push up with your triceps. Two, three, four, five. Be careful, make sure you're breathing properly. Being upside down isn't always the funnest, but when you get results like this, it's pretty amazing. Five more. One. Two, three, four, and five. <sighs> so, 
that's a few of the exercises that you can do with the tow bar accessory. I'm sure I'm going to think of more, um, but those ones I've done for quite a while now, and they seem to be giving me some really awesome benefits for my upper body. And uh, I mean, you can't really go wrong with that. And then you have all the other exercises that you can do with tow bar accessory if you look up in the Total Gym Manual. So, uh, you know, I hope you guys benefit from this. I know I love them. Uh, I know when I showed a couple exercises to the Total Gymatic group, they all love them. And uh, I hope that uh, you guys take this on and can add this to your workout or even just do this workout once a week or something, you know, just to kind of change it up and uh, use different muscle groups. You can see I've worked out quite a bit of a sweat, a little out of breath. I finished the workout already, but um, I wanted to show this with you guys because I incorporated it into my workout before this and uh, I couldn't believe how much I was on fire. So I needed to show it with you guys this short video and uh, hope it works out for you. Until the next time.